Acupressure for Seniors, presented as part of Explanates A Date with Friends. I'm physician Anita P from Yu Yan Sang TCM Clinic at Bukit Banjang in Clementi. Within the next few minutes, I will be sharing with you how acupressure massage can help to improve your well-being as well as to alleviate some of the common conditions that you may have. Feel free to try it out at home. Let's get started. The first condition I want to talk about is knee pain. Knee pain in elderly usually happens when there's degeneration in the knee joint uh, due to wear and tear in the knee cartilage. This happens in people who are overweight or people who tend to stand for long periods of time or bend over for long periods of time doing chores. Other than knee pain, one may experience swelling of the knee joint, stiffness in the knee joint, or pain that gets worse while doing certain activities like climbing stairs. So let me introduce some acupressure points to help you alleviate your knee pain. For knee pain, the first acupressure point is hurting. It is at the top of the kneecap, in the middle, Feel for a depression towards the thigh. Massage this point for 1 minute and the same goes for the following echo points. The second point for knee pain is Si Yan. Slide two fingers to the bottom of the kneecap. Feel for a hollow on either side of the kneecap. This is called Si Yan. You could in fact massage all three points together with this motion. The third point for knee pain is called Xue Hai. It is located about 3 fingers width above the inner top corner of the kneecap. Next, we'll move on to back pain. Back pain in the elderly can be due to spinal degeneration or due to poor posture, such as standing for long periods of time doing chores or sitting down for too long. We'll look at some of the acupressure massage points to help with back pain. The first acupressure point for back pain is Shen Shu. To find it, place your hands behind your back like this. Rub in an up and down motion. The second point for back pain is Wei Zhong. It is located at the back of the knee, right in the middle. The third acupressure point for back pain is Yao Tong Dian. It is at the back of your hand, between the second and third finger, and between the fourth and fifth finger. You may massage it like this. Next, we'll talk about insomnia. Most elderly have some form of insomnia. A lot of them tend to wake up early and are unable to fall back asleep. This problem is made worse by frequent urination, which we'll talk about later. Other reasons for poor sleep include poor sleep habits such as napping too much during the day, not getting enough exercise, or other pain conditions that keep them up at night. So I'll introduce some acupressure massage points to help with your sleep. For insomnia, the first point is Nei Guan. It is located three fingers width above the inner wrist crease in between the two tendons. The second point for insomnia is called Shen Men. It is located at the side of the wrist nearest to the little finger. Feel for a depression. This is your Shen Men Xue. The last acupressure point for insomnia is An Mian. To find it, slide your finger behind the ear to a depression at the side of the neck. Next, we'll move on to frequent urination. Frequent urination often happens to people who are over 60 years old. It is often very disruptive to daily life and at night, it leads to interrupted sleep. Some reasons for frequent urination include overactive bladder, weak pelvic muscles, chronic urinary tract infections, prostate disease in men, bladder prolapse, and diabetes. 
let me introduce some acupressure massage points to help reduce frequent urination. The first two acupressure points for frequent urination is on the lower abdomen. To find Huan Yuan, place four fingers under your belly button. This is the Guan Yuan point. In between your belly button and the Guan Yuan point, this is Qi Hai. The last point for frequent urination is San Ying Jiao. This is located four fingers width above the inner anchor behind the bone. Next, I'll talk about constipation. Constipation in the elderly is usually due to a slowdown of muscle movements in the bowels or from side effects due to certain medications. Here are some acupressure points to help with regular bowel movements. The first point for constipation is Zhi Gou. It is located 4 fingers width above the wrist crease in between the bones. The second point for constipation is Tian Shu. To find it, locate your belly button. Take 3 fingers width beside the belly button. One point on the right, one point on the left. This is your Tian Shu point. The last point is Zhu San Li. From the outer hollow of the knee, place four fingers below the hollow, one finger width from the outside of the shin bone. This is Zhu San Li. Next, I'll talk about fatigue. Most elderly tend to feel tired during the day. This can be due to poor sleep during the night or other conditions such as anemia, thyroid problems, pain conditions, or emotional stress. The first point for fatigue is Bai Hui. To find it, place your thumbs at the tip of your ear, move it towards the top of your head, right in the middle. This is your Bai Hui point. The second point for fatigue is Tai Yang. To massage Tai Yang, massage the side of your head at the temples. The last point is Zhu San Li. From the outer hollow of the knee, place four fingers below the hollow, one finger width from the outside of the shin bone. Next, we'll talk about high blood pressure. We consider blood pressure above 140-90 to be high. We want to maintain a healthy blood pressure to prevent heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. Let me introduce some acupressure massage points to lower blood pressure. The first point for high blood pressure is Qi Chi. To find it, hold your arm at a 90 degree angle. At the end of the elbow crease, there is a depression. This is your Qi Chi point. The second point for high blood pressure is He Gu. It is between your thumb and the index finger. In the midpoint of the index finger, press it towards the bone. If you are doing it correctly, it should feel quite soft. The last point for high blood pressure is Tai Chong. It is between the first toe and the second toe. Slide up until you cannot go further. This is your Tai Chong point. Next, I'll talk about tinnitus. Tinnitus is usually described as ringing in the ears, but it can be many types of sound, such as high pitched sound like cricket, wind, or machinery sounds. This can be due to old age, emotional stress, health issues, or sometimes no reason at all. Let me introduce some exercises that can help to reduce tinnitus. For tinnitus, these are the acupressure points. There are three points in front of the ear. Ermen, Ting Gong, Ting Hui. There is one point at the back of the ear. 
Yi Feng to massage these points, place your fingers in a V shape like this and rub in an up and down motion. Other than these points, there's also another exercise that you can do called Ming Tian Gu. Loosely translated, it means sound the heavenly drum. Place two hands, cover your ear entirely with your thumb and your little finger supporting your head. These three fingers should be resting at the base of your skull. Lift your index finger, place it over the middle finger and bring it down. If you are doing it correctly, you should be hearing the sound of a drum beating in your head. Do it for 9 times each set, repeat for 3 sets. Remember to release the pressure from your ear in between sets. So these are the acupressure massage that we have for you today. Thank you for joining us. A gentle reminder that this is just general advice as everyone's body constitution is different. So it's best for you to consult a physician for your own condition. You may visit sg.yuyansangclinic.com to find out more. Also remember to catch more happenings at A Date With Friends. Visit www.exponate.com slash A Date With Friends to find out more. Thank you for watching and see you next time. Thank you.